okay let's see how to get data from mysql to altrex so let's just take this input data set up a connection data sources here it is mysql connect to odbc here uh, let me just delete this first because that would be how uh, you would find it at first so uh, here there is nothing uh, let's just delete this also hmm. okay data sources you would find like this create new now we would need data source name and odbc dsn you know nothing about this and uh <coughs> so click on settings and see if there is any uh, mysql database that you have created in here uh, or uh, if not then go to drivers and see if there is any driver for mysql currently there is nothing here uh, with named with the name of mysql these uh, of sql server and excel and uh, access is there and uh, but uh, there is none for mysql okay so uh, right now there is no uh, odbc for it so let's just close it and first the install the odbc so maybe just click mysql um, just type mysql here or go to the official mysql website and then go to the products then uh, i think enterprise edition and connectors and here is odbc for mysql let's just install this the first one download uh, let's just click no thanks just start my download open this file just install it okay now that is installed now earlier when we went to altrex and did that uh, uh, let me just show you again this mm, data sources and uh, odbc new and if we went to here here we didn't see any mysql here that is fine but we didn't see any mysql in drivers as well but now since we have installed it we would see a uh, mysql driver here so uh, you can not we have now what we are supposed to do is we have to create a user dsn i'll show you how it is done but uh <coughs> let's just not do it here here we have reached to by clicking this settings uh, we can do that they are also by clicking settings here but uh, this settings button is only available in altrex but let's just do it outside of altrex so let's uh, nothing big just click odbc here and uh, go here and the same dialog box appears here also go to the drivers and uh, choose this ansi driver ansi driver and uh, okay uh, yes add go we went to the user dsn then clicked add and then from here choose ansi driver uh, give data source a name let's just give my sql uh, odbc i'm just giving the rate created on 17th of march 2024 let's just leave the description not required uh this is local host and username is root which is the username uh just quickly i'll show you see this is the username local host i got from here so this this is local host i typed for there 3306 was uh, uh, already there if not then we can uh, mention 3306 in that uh where were we Yes, three three zero six local host root user is root password. Uh, you must be knowing your password which uh, you have entered uh, when you installed my SQL server. So let's just type that password. Where the where is it? 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 Yes, let's type the password nine eight one. Okay, I think I might have typed. password wrong yes uh, now i have all this databases let's just select the database which you want uh, actually i don't know why but uh, even after selecting the a particular database you have the choice of uh, taking tables from any database so anything you select here is fine so just click okay now you must be having uh, let's just click okay here also we'll go here again should be appearing till now mm. let me 
let's try it again. Okay, now it has. I don't know why it didn't work earlier. So the name that we created, data source name. This is the data source name. My SQL ODBC created on 17.03.2024. This is the name that I have given. Okay, so let's just take this name. Uh, if we even go again here, see this is there. Okay, now go to settings here and just copy the name. Here. And at both the places, give this name. Click save, Cl click on connect credential, create new credential, uh, give any name, some credential, credential name, okay, username again, give that. Now click on create and link, now click on connect. Now you have all these tables. This is Visual Query Builder. So let's just say I want this table, uh, Superstore 1, from this. So I can uh, visually do it. Take this column, this column, this column, whatever. Okay. Or uh, if I want direct the whole table, then I can click on here. The whole table would come. Just run it. And your table is here in Alteryx.